Hello everyone, my name is Ali Akbar. Today, we are going to discuss about the transmission system of an automobile. So let's start. First thing that I would like to discuss is what is a transmission system. It is the system by means of which power developed by the engine is transmitted to the road wheels to propel the vehicle. So we can say that transmission system is like the veins of vehicle. Just like the veins in our body which transmits blood from heart to all the parts of the body, transmission systems transports the power developed by the engine to all the essential part of the vehicle in order to propel it. As we can see in the figure, the power developed by the engine which is uh, let us say in this figure the power which is developed by this engine is transferred to the rear wheel of the vehicle by means of transmission system. I hope you now know you now have the clear idea about the transmission system. Now let us discuss what are the essential components or, or elements of the transmission system. In any vehicle, the transmission system is made, up of, is made up of six essential components, which we are going to discuss them now one by one. First one is clutch, which comes directly after the engine as it is illustrated in the figure. As we can see, clutch directly comes after the engine. Clutch allows the engine to be separated from rest of transmission system when starting the engine, shifting the gear, stopping the vehicle and idling, idling the engine. Clutch also permits the engine to take up the driving load of the vehicle gradually and without shock. Following are the examples to demonstrate how clutch separates the power obtained from the engine from the rest of the transmission system. As we can see, when clutch is activated by pressing the clutch pedal, at that time the clutch plates which are over here as you can see the clutch plates which moves up and down. The clutch plates gets disengaged from the engine and the power is not transferred any further. And when the clutch pedal is released, the, cl the clutch plate gets engaged with the flywheel and the power is then transferred to the rest of the transmission system as we can see uh, in this animation when the clutch is when the clutch is engaged the power is directly transmitted to the rest of the transmission system next is gearbox as we can see in this figure gearbox comes right after the clutch so whatever power that is being transmitted from clutch is then transferred to the gearbox Gearbox provides variable speed or torque to driving wheels according to variation in resistance and tractive effort of the vehicle. It also allows vehicle to move in reverse direction. Gearbox basically consists of set of gears of with varying gear ratio and depending on the output requirement we can select the different gear ratios as we can see in this figure. This is just an example for the gearbox. This is just a brief overview. The detailed study about it will be later explained in the future lectures. Next is propeller shaft and universal joint. They connect the gear box, as we can see over here. They connect the gear box to the final drive unit, which is the rear axle of the vehicle. The rear axle is suspended under the cheeses with spring and moves up and down due to road irregularities. Hence, angle of propeller shaft is varied. To give varying angle drive to the rear axle, two universal joints are used with propeller shaft. As we can see in this animation, these are the two universal joints that are attached to the propeller shaft in order to provide the varied, uh, varied angle to the propeller shaft because of the road irregularities. Next is final drive and right after that is differential final drive basically diverts the power at right angle towards the driving wheel 
and provides a, fi a final gear reduction between the engine and the driving wheel. The final gear is present over here. Whereas differential allows the outer wheel to run at greater speed than the inner wheel while negotiating a turn. This is uh, as we can see in this animation. The green gears are basically our final drive, and the mechanism shown which uh, shown with orange gears and blue gears constitute the differential mechanism. Again, this is just a brief overview. The detailed study about it will be explained in a later on classes. The last element of transmission system is the wheels and tires. The wheels along with tires of an automobile supports the total weight, resist the strain created by turning and transmit the driving torque for propelling and braking torque for retarding. So these are basically the six essential components or six essential elements of transmission system. Now when you want to change the gear of the vehicle, you first press what? You first press the clutch meaning you first disengage the engine from the rest of the transmission system that is no power is now transferred via transmission system next you change the gear which eventually happens inside the gear box which is basically this red one then you release the clutch meaning that the engine is now again engaged to the transmission system and the power is transmitted via transmission system to the driving wheel in our case the rear wheels so i hope now you have an idea of how the transmission system works next topic that i want to discuss is what are the functions of transmission system The first function of transmission system is it provides connection and disconnection of engine with rest of powertrain smoothly and without shock. This happens with the help of clutch. Next, it provides variable speed or torque to road wheels. This happens with the uh, help of gearbox. Again, the next function of transmission system is it also provides power to the road wheel in the opposite direction. This is done with the help of gearbox. Next is it can transmit power at varied angle and varied length. This happens because of propeller shaft. Next is it diverts the power at right angle to the driving wheel. This happens uh, with the help of final drive and differential. Next component is it provides the arrangement to bear the effects of torque reaction driving thrust and braking effect this is because due to the help of tires and wheels of the transmission system thank you very much for listening to my lecture i hope you all got what you were looking for if you have any doubt related to this topic or any other topic please feel free to comment below in the comment section or you can email us on our email id institute at gmail.com in our next lecture, I will be discussing about the clutches in more depth. Thank you again. If you indeed liked our lecture and our effort or our style of teaching, please hit like and subscribe button below. And please do not forget to share our lectures with your colleagues and friends. We need your support greatly in order to continue our work. Thank you. See you all again in the next lecture. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.